Hey everyone, Eric Levy here. You're watching my YouTube vlog of 2018, the second chapter and channel of my original vlog, formerly known as the People's Zima, aka TPL. It's EML77 TV, episode 116. How's everyone doing out there on this lovely Saturday morning? Well, today, uh, as you can see here, this is the Mae Young Classic bracket for the first round of 2018. Uh, I decided to do some picks and picks in here and technically i would love to uh, do the little you know thing on paper like this but it'd be too small for you guys to see and everything else and uh so i decided well i'll do it in a visual way using the uh actual may young classic bracket so here we go um so here so here we go let's check the, let's check the uh the bracket for the um first round left side of the bracket will start off as Miko Satomura, a veteran in Japan who's been wrestling for years, got her break, cut her teeth in WCW as a teenager. Um, she'll go one on one with the uh, the first Portuguese uh, WWE superstar performing. Now we Killer Kelly. I like Killer Kelly. Uh, very beautiful and um, very young. Miko Satomura. Uh, Obviously, obviously veteran, but I'm going to give the edge to Killer Kelly. I think she's very hungry. Um, and also, she's a NXT UK competitor as well. So I can't wait to see what she can. I uh, saw what she can do. So Killer Kelly will advance the second round here. And uh, let's go. Um, former Impact Knockout, um, Ashley Rain, who was known as Madison Rain, uh, will, her first time in the tournament, will go up against the another veteran who is her second time in the tournament, Mercedes Martinez. Who do I got in the second round? I'm going to go with Ashley Rain. Younger, faster, and stronger. I know Mercedes got a lot of proof in this tournament. She's got probably have a chip in her shoulder as well. I think. I think somehow I think Ashley Rain will advance in the tournament. So it'll be Killer Kelly and Ashley Rain in the second round. All right. Um, new new NXT superstar Lacey Lane, trained by the Dudley Boys, will go one on one with Vanessa Craven. Lacey um, had that prop, had that great training by Bubba Ray and Devon, the Hall of Famers, I should say. So, would I pick her to go into the second round? I think she's a lot to prove. But besides the strength of Vanessa Craven from Canada, got to have to go with her in this one. So, Vanessa Craven, I'm picking her to advance in the second round. To go up against uh, Tainara Conti, Conti from Brazil, who will be competing in her second May Young Classic. She won, She defeated Vanessa Bourne to qualify for that final spot. And she'll go up against another NX, new NXT uh, superstar, Jesse Alaban. Jesse Alaban's got, um, got high energy. She is... Uh, in, in, but she has got... She's a little bit on the green side, so to speak. She's got a lot more um, to learn. But I think she'll prove herself as time progresses. So I'm going to give the edge to Tainara Conti. Her judo background should should help her out to advance her in the second round. So I got Killer Kelly going against Ashley Ray in the second round. Vanessa Craven versus Tainara Conti. Tony Storm returns for her second May Young Classic. She's also part of the NXT UK Women's Division, as well as the newest member of the NXT UK Women's Division, uh, Ginny. Uh, and also her first time in the tournament as well. So... I'm going to get the edge of Tony Storm. She's got a lot to prove here. so, And she's got the ultimate chip on her shoulder. And she's hungry. She wants to win it this year. She came close in the semifinals, losing to the eventual winner, Kati Sane, who is now the NXT Women's Champion. So I think Tony wants, is getting motivated seeing Kari go all the way. So I'm going to go with Tony Storm here. Um, the daughter of Hall of Famer Paul Ellering, Rachel Evers, will be competing in her second tournament as well against the first-time competitor in the tournament um, from Japan, the lady killer, Hiroyo Matsumoto. Oh, boy, this is a tough matchup. I mean, both women have to side, you know, both women are very powerful and strong. And I'm um, going to have to go with Rachel Evers in this one. So I think Rachel Evers will advance the second round defeating Tony Storm. All right, I got to make sure I memorize all this. So, uh, you know, that's a good thing I have pen and paper here. So... So, so far, uh, let me just pause for just one minute. I'll be right back to talk out the last two matches. We're back. Hello, once again. Well, 
back here. Um, let's go to this um to the last two matches here in the left side of the bracket. Mia Yim versus Allison K. Amjay's Manima has squared off in a matchup that had made quite the impact. Get the joke there. Um, former Impact Knockouts, of course. Uh, I'm taking. I'm giving um, this matchup to Mia Yim. Give her to um. Give her an opportunity to go to the second round. I think she's hungry. Allison Cage is the first time competing in the tournament as well. Uh, Pinky's up, but this is Mia's second, and everybody wants, everybody loves Mia Yim. So I'm getting, I'm giving Mia Yim the advance, um, the advance into the second round. Caitlin versus Kavita Devi. Um, Caitlin's returning to the WWE former Divas Champion. Her first time in the tournament, though. But this is Kavita Devi, who was trained by the great Kali her second time. Now, these Caitlin's got a hybrid, but also she's got power. Kavita's also got power. And I picked Caitlin to go take the second um, to uh, advance in the first round. So I got Caitlin versus Mia Yim. So, so they got four matches for the second round. And uh, let's go to the right side of the bracket. Um, here as the uh, lady representing Wales, who was supposed to compete in the first uh, first tournament last year, but due to an ACL injury, she did not. It'll be Tegan Knox will be first time in the tournament, and also um, representing I think Chile or uh, Chile or Mexico. Zatara will be in, in, in the tournament, and uh, who I could pick? I think I picked Knox. Knox is Knox is going to be uh, someone to watch this year. All right, I think Tegan Knox will advance in the uh, second round of the tournament. Also in the first round, both first timers in the tournament, of course, Isla Dawn from Scotland, also part of the NXT UK Women's Division, and Nicole Matthews from Canada. This, this is a tough one. This is a tough one. This is a tough one to decide who would advance in the tournament because both like I'm going to go with Isla Dawn. Isla Dawn. I believe she's got a lot more to prove, even though Nicole Matthews has been a veteran. I think Isla Dawn is hungry. All right. Now, second time in the tournament, um, Rhea Ripley, believe it or not, get it? <laughs> it's, it's a TV show back in the day. We used to, My dad used to watch it. Uh, we'll be going against the first time, uh, first time competitor, MJ Jenkins. No, her brother's not Leroy Jenkins. No, none of those. <laughs> So I'm gonna go with Ripley. Uh, Rhea Ripley, Ripley is very powerful, very very strong. Uh, I believe that she's also got something to prove in this tournament. Well, going to the second time around, so Rhea Ripley will advance. Okay, we got all right. The second um, another matchup for um, another first timer, former American Ninja Warrior um, contestant Casey Catanzaro. Will be going up against second time competitor in the tournament, Reyna Gonzalez. Hmm, this is a tough one. You're talking about a David versus Goliath match here. Reyna is very big and strong and powerful. Casey's five feet. Well, I'll tell you what, this is a tough call to make. I believe, I seriously believe that Casey will be uh will be going up again, going the second round. I think Ripley and Gonzalez are our best friends in NXT as a team, so it'll be very interesting to see how this develops. All right, now this one matchup I'm looking forward to seeing uh, two first timers in the tournament as well. I've been looking forward to seeing this young lady ever since watching her on Lucha Underground facing Pentagon Dark under the name of Hitokiri. Io Shirai will go up against Zaya Brookside, the daughter of former center coach and legendary British wrestler Robbie Brookside. Zaya's only 19, so she's got a lot, you know, she may have been born in the business, but a lot, but the experience, I have to go with Io Shirai. I have to go with her. Uh, she has got, you know, she can do things like nobody has ever done before, so I personally believe that Io Shirai will be advancing in the second round of the tournament. Um, Zeuxis, I forget if she's from Chile, I know she's a luchador, Zeuxis, uh, We'll go up against Ariel Monroe. Uh, here's a little tidbit about Ariel Monroe. I believe she is married to current cruiserweight champion Cedric Alexander. So I I see Ariel Monroe advancing because I think that, you know, probably her husband's not uh, her husband's knowledge could really kick into action. 
All right. And they're both first timers in the tournament as well. Um, a couple of first timers in the tournament. In fact, it will be it is Diana Perazzo, the virtuosa, to go up against Priscilla Kelly in, in his first round of the tournament. Who do I got in this one? I'm going to have to go with um, Diana is also signed with NXT. So I'm going to go with um, Perazzo for. Uh, to advance in the uh, first round, so advance to the second round. So I picked Deanna to do that. Um, then we have the uh, battle, a battle of uh, battle of the Asian ladies here, as uh, Karen Q, the going against Zaya Lee, and who is going to be the second or second time competing in the tournament. This one's a tough one. Karen Q is very very good. You watch her Ring of Honor; she's very good in that ring. Um, Got a lot of experience, so I believe if I could put this down, I'm like, oh, it's a tough, this is a tough call. I'm going to go with Karen Q. You know, Zia Lee's an NXT superstar; should be around for a while, but Karen Q will be uh, will be will be advancing over. Uh, will be advancing over. Zia Lee and face Deanna Perazzo. All right. I'm going to get to the second round here. I've written, I've, written, I've written everything down just to let you know what the heck has been going on. Whoops. Let me get my finger out of the way here. And I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but I will read it off to you. Okay. I'll read it off. All right. I got Killer Kelly and uh, Madison Rain in the second round tournament. Um, so uh, I am going to pick Killer Kelly to advance. Um, Killer Kelly to advance here. All right, now the second round, I got Craven and Conti in the second round. Um, I picked those two ladies to advance. I'm going to have to go with Ty Nara Conti. Um, Ty Nara Conti's got that judo background. She probably knows how to take apart an opponent bit by bit. I think the le- you take the legs out of Vanessa Craven, you got a shot to take take her down. Okay, um, Tony Storm and Rachel Evers, I picked them to advance in the second. Go to the second round. Ooh, what? Well, well, I picked those two out of those two. I would have picked I want Tony Storm, like I said, she's got a chip on her shoulder, she's got a motivation. All right, me and Caitlin, two of my favorite lady wrestlers. Oh, this is a tough call to make. This is a tough call to make. But I'm gonna have to give the edge edge to me at EM. I'm gonna do uh it edged me at EM. So that would be uh the final four on the first bra- first uh left side of the bracket. Uh Keller Kelly versus Tynara Conti and Tony Storm versus me. Yeah. All right. Tegan Knox versus Isla Dawn. I picked them two. Um, out of UK superstars. I'm going to have to go with Tegan Knox. And I, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Rhea Ripley versus uh, Casey Kentazaro. Ripley's going to gonna, gonna get some revenge, and that's the way it's going to be. Io Shirai versus, uh, versus uh, Ariel Monroe. Io Shirai this time around. And then. I think Deanna Perrazzo will advance over Karen Q. That's uh, that's my uh, so so you you right over Ariel Monroe Perrazzo over Karen Q. So let's check. Let's go one more time and um, just to let you guys know and we'll see. Uh, I don't think I don't think you can see squat. All right, I picked uh, Killer Kelly and Tynara Conti in in this uh, in round three of the tournament. I'm going to go with uh, Killer Kelly. I'm going to go with Killer Kelly to advance in round three over Tynara Conti. Tony Storm versus Mia Yim. I'm going to go with Tony Storm. I'm going to go with Tony Storm. Storm, okay? And then, so so I got um, Kelly and Storm in the uh, in in the semifinals. And let's go on the other side. Uh, Knox. And Ripley, uh, Tegan Knox, I picked Tegan Knox over Rhea Ripley to advance to the semifinals. And Io Shirai versus Deanna Perrazzo. I'm going to go with Io Shirai to advance. All right. And now we got the semifinals. It's Killer Kelly versus Tony Storm. Who I got? I got Tony Storm over uh, Killer Kelly to advance. In, uh, over uh, Tony Storm over Killer Kelly to advance to the finals, and Tegan Knox versus Io Shirai. I pick Io Shirai. So, so I'm predicting that on October 28th at Evolution, the tournament final will be 
for the Mayon Classic 2018, Tony Storm versus Io Shirai. Who do I got in that one? I'm picking the winner of, of, of the tournament, the overall winner of the tournament, none other than, than Io Shirai. Io Shirai will be my pick to win the tournament. That is my prediction. I want to see what you guys are predicting on. I want to hear it. I want to see it in the comments. I know I do the best I can. So that is it. So that's all the time we have on the show. Uh, remember, remember everyone, you know, to have, a, have a blessed day. I will get you another episode of Get These Thumbs. I'm going to continue my Super Mario Maker run with the uh, new and improved camera that I have and the new and improved TV that I have. It will be better gameplay, better graphics, and all that good stuff. All right? So as we episode 117, get these thumbs, I believe, five. So I got to recheck my archives to make sure that I'm correct on that. All right. So that's all the, that time, that's all the time. And uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Catch you on the flip side. Bye. God bless. Peace.